That's right, just my go. alter ego. And when people see me, sometimes I think that when they meet me and they speak with me, they're expecting Sasha. And um, I'm really kind of shy and not really shy, but more reserved and um, nothing like Sasha. But I guess I wouldn't be very entertaining on stage. So Sasha comes out <laughs> and She's fearless, you know, she can, she can do things that I cannot do when I'm in rehearsal. I mean, I can try, but then it just doesn't happen. I can sing notes and sing strong and do all these things that when I'm just by myself, I can't do. And I remember right before I performed, I raised my hands up and it was kind of the first time I, I felt something else come into me and I knew that was going to be my coming out night. Mm -hmm. uh. Okay. So, <laughs> stop it right up. So, that's that's the clip that we mentioned a couple weeks ago that we were going to go find. Oh. And um about when Beyoncé <laughs> So, uh, so the question is, is this a alter ego of Beyoncé or do you think it's something a little more serious and spiritual about this whole Sasha Fierce thing? And this is from over Way 20 back. years ago. Yeah. She, Sasha Fierce is done. That's been. That's done. I, what's the new one? I, the new one is her. <laughs> <laughs> the new one is just Beyonce. It is nothing but, new. But this is, when a lot, this is where a lot of people point back to is when she changed. The source. Uh, yeah. change. Mm -hmm. Source of change. Yeah. Man, I, I think the thing was, I think, I think, I think she may have just been like, I already say like this. It's almost like the Whitney Houston effect. Like Whitney Houston was set up to be a pop star. She was groomed. She was groomed to do the right stuff. Right. She was. She. They made her put in the right dress. Yeah. Um, Clive Davis made sure she was like America's sweetheart. Yes. But yeah. she was from East <laughs> East Orange, New Jersey. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she yeah. from the hood. She yeah. From the hood. <laughs> she from the hood. Yeah. So the thing was, Beyonce is like a hood girl. She really is. Like uh, not hood, but like yeah. she's a city like girl. It, yeah. yeah. But I think they was trying to polish her into something that she wasn't. So now over the years, so now she probably had to say, okay, if if I'm gonna go crazy on stage, I'm gonna do something. That's not me. That's oh, you don't believe her. I believe her. I believe that she is reserved, and she turns on something when she yeah. But that, but that's what I'm saying. That that's what I'm saying. She was she compartmentalizing of in your mind going, you know, I'm not ratchet. That's that's Sasha Fierce. I don't. I don't, I don't believe that. You I believe she's, she's actually introverted. And you think Sasha Fierce was a performance? A performance. performance. Yeah. Or worse, which is the point <laughs> of this topic, like <laughs> some sort of demon possession. Yeah. And it yeah. could be. It could be. Uh, but so you don't believe that. You believe she is the ratchet. Well, person. the reason the reason I'm saying that because she stopped saying it. Stop saying what? She said she stopped after that. She had an album called I Am Sasha mm -hmm, Fierce. After mm -hmm. that album, when she got into like her self title album in the 2010s era of Beyonce, well, she just was like, "It is I what am it is." Fierce. I think she takes on whatever makes money, um, you know, and a beehive will come. But I think, you know, because now she's in country, right? Yeah. So what, what character are we playing now? I think she's a performer. I think that now I'm not going to knock what we hear and what we read that people do have these entities. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, entities or they're praying to a particular guy. I'm not even negating that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but the Sasha Fierce comment, I think she's she's she takes on. She has to be careful because she may be taken on a spirit because she's really trying to. What was the cat who? It was a um show that came out and he said he um, oh y'all gotta help me. He said he prayed because he was trying to be so like demonic that the oh, demon snowfall yeah, yeah, yeah got yeah. on him. You feel uh, me? And he was like, yo, I was he was scared. Yeah. To where he had to call his people. Yeah. It was like, mom, like, yo, this this demonic thing. So I think, yeah, it could it very much so could be a possibility. But mm. I know the source. I, I'm not saying I know because I'm not her, but I feel like she's so. She's such a performer, so yeah. she's gonna take and eat and breed and whatever that requires. So here, here's she might here's do. why I believe her because my some of y'all know that my natural state is more introverted than extroverted. I come on yeah. here and they may see me do like spoken word or rap from a stage, and it's like, oh no, you're not. But the people who knew me back in Pembroke Pines, Florida, like, yeah. why are you on a stage? You, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they, they know who I, I, <laughs> right. I am. Yeah. Yeah. So what happens, though, is what I believe is that because of my calling and because I know what I'm supposed to do when I go on stage to do a spoken word piece, 
I know that I need to be filled by the Holy Spirit to deliver this message. Yes. So it's him Facts. and not me. Yes. yes. The problem is people who are not Christians do the same thing, mm. but they're calling on some other things. Mm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's so, mean, yeah. yeah. So that's what I think, even if it's her intention, yeah. that this is just an alter ego, this is me just turning on a switch, is what are you inviting in mm. when you say that you're turning on the switch? For mm. who? What if the switch is just the flesh? What do you mean? Just no, like you, your flesh. Like, you, you know, her natural, you, this is her real core self no, coming no, out. No, but what I'm saying is, you know, you know, of course, when you talk about Galatians, you talk about the living by the spirit and then you live by the flesh. You, It's sometimes people will say, I've heard people, um, entertainers say, you know, I did this and I can't remember me doing this. Mm. I just went out and we did it and I got back and I was like, did I do, did I just do that? You know what I'm saying? It's like, sometimes it's almost like, like you just tapping into your inner self mm. what your inner self is your flesh it, what your your desires your will what you want to do so maybe that's she living by living by the flesh it when she performs that. you know what i'm saying it could be all those things it could be alter ego and it spirit, could be flesh yeah. and it, and could, it could be, be definitely demonic. spirit yeah yeah, yeah. so I, this we just wanted to bring this up because we've had we have talked about beyonce of course yeah. the, the infamous one from almost a year ago that we did that brought some um, of y'all in <laughs> some of y'all may know about it because <laughs> of that one but <laughs> We promised that we would go back and say, okay, this is where all this talk of Beyonce possibly worshiping some mm -hmm. African spiritual gods and yeah. things like that started. This is where the suspicion started because before this, she used to sing gospel yeah. songs. She, was and she used Kelly to Rowe. talk about yeah. her love for God and this and that. Mm -hmm. And then it was a switch. So mm -hmm. they think maybe if it's yeah. some spiritual going on, that this was the moment she admitted that something changed. I, I, would, love, yeah. I would go deep with y'all, but we went <laughs> out of time. But I, it's, it's interesting about what I've heard about Sasha Fierce, though. Mm. What is that? Right, because I'm like, we're going to just... It's you, long for long time. Like, what? It's not long for long time. We got a lot to do. Yeah. But so, what are you saying? Uh, okay, so the I've heard the entity that you you talked about, spiritual, is a double-edged sword. It's a female, and then it's her husband. And her husband ends up being a drag queen or like a transgender. Oh, you're talking about the God in, in, yeah, yeah, in yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's, mm. that's what... Remember when you deal with spirituality, yeah. you're dealing with everything that comes with it. Jeez. So that's maybe at wow. that time, maybe be something it's with the river goddess. Yeah. You're talking about. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, drop that bomb on us right now. <laughs>